Welcome back to Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition Siege of Dragonspear, where we are in Servox's secret hiding uh, office, and we have some stuff to read. Uh, I need to pause because time's passing in the background and they start shattering. This is a page from Saravox notes, so that's what I really want to read here. My research into the Lord of Murder has begun to bear its tainted fruit. The dreams come every night now, dreams of floods and eruptions, earthquakes and devastation. I descend deeper into the dreams each time, combining clues from their chef. I use what they teach me to bring a living nightmare to this land. I've learned all I can in the city. While my plans for the Iron Throne gain traction, I go to visit a temple of Baal overtaken by the faithful of he who murdered my father, leaving the way clear for me to take his place. There I shall find out more regarding my dark heritage and the prophecy. If I have time, I shall also look into a hidden room rumored to have been constructed by Mask. The Lord of Shadows is cunning. The marks he has left behind number 3, 1 and 4. There is another hidden room. 3, 1 and 4. Okay. I should watch for an old Temple of Baal on my travels. Oh, so it's about the Temple of Baal. It's about the Temple of Baal, okay. Kanaglim, the abandoned city. Around 722 DR, three clans of dwarves united ventured below the high moor, where they discovered a series of caverns well suited for founding a new town. The dwarves chipped away the walls between the small caverns, creating a large new space for the town they named Kanaglim. The clans enjoyed little peace in their new home for only a few months after they began construction. They were attacked by a drow force. The drow opened a portal from their home city of Zenhorilok. Zen Zenhorilok. Hoping to catch the dwarves off guard. The dwarves of Kenneglim proved a tougher enemy than the drow had anticipated, though. Not only did the dwarves force the drow back through the portal, but a force of dwarves followed and slaughtered the drow, claiming Zen Hurrylock for their own. The dwarves who settled in Zen Hurrylock set out a year after uh, set out after a year to visit Kenneglim and establish a safe route between the two cities, but found their old home empty and abandoned. The source of law and evil in the multiverse, the Nine Hells are home to the de evil devils known to scholars as Batizu. Each of the nine layers of this foul plane is ruled by a powerful devil who holds absolute sway over the denizens of their realm, mortals who practice depraved acts of evil in life or who foolishly barter away their souls, find themselves sent to the Nine Hells for eternal torment upon death. Souls awaiting judgment in the fugue plane may be tempted by Batizu, who offer to make the waiting souls agents of the Nine Hells. Some souls accept this evil bargain rather than take their chances with an unknown fate. Yeah, as always, guys are getting... Uh, these glyphs are readings 3, 1 and 4. Which I don't know what this is about then. Okay. Um, let's try to move up the rope. In the hopes that it lets us stay in the ruins. Just because it's closer. They are labeled 3, 1 and 4. But I don't know which one is 3, which is 1 and which is 4. You must gather your party before venturing forth. The rope leads down to the chasm, and this leads to another chamber. Aha! And it is closed because they didn't use this path, although they said they would. This will spawn enemies again. 
get the cracked open one. That's good. That's cobalt moss, which we don't need anymore. But I'll take it nonetheless. And I put it that way. Do we have, can we have a quest back? Which makes every item uh, weightless that's put into it. Oh no. Oh, that's not working well. Oh, Joe is taking damage. And Joe is deserving the damage Take, yeah, he's taking. Because he didn't get away in time. He wanted to hug Khalid. Safana, you too. Oh, I will recover uh, from a criti critical miss. Yeah, but you're using magical weapons so they don't break. If she critical misses, her weapon breaks. So we'll have to to uh, take a look on whether we can find her a magical version of her weapon. Oh, God uh, damn it. This AI, man. It's locked. Yeah, of course it's locked. Uh, uh, that's not Q. That's Q. Can go back again. And put your armor back on. Because it might spawn enemies again. It didn't this time. We have potion of fire resistance and protection scrolls. Okay. Show goes back. The hero attacks this one. Khalid attacks this one. Safana and Corrin help attack this one. Nira goes for magic against this one. We both attack the back row one. And we'll continue with that. And now we can both attack this one. Why you three attack that one please? Resisting me. Need to try something else. Ah. I still haven't found the second piece of the staff. We're clearly missing something here. So Joe, look around here for a while. These were the all of the armors. And let's look through their weaponry if they have this thing in here. That's a scimitar. And we took what we wanted out of this. The scimitar goes to her so that she can use it if she wants to. It's also doing 1d8 damage, it's slashing damage. This also does slashing damage, a speed factor of 4, this has a speed factor of 5. So that she has a, a, an extra weapon if this one should break. We're still missing. Was there a thing inside this? I don't think so. Maybe we'll get it from him as a reward, so we can continue the other quest. You return, and all is silent again. I give you this. As a living man, it was among my most prized possessions. Now it is useless to me. Now return from whence you came, 
and I shall return once more to my grave, to darkness, to dust. We get a medium shield, and we have completed the dealings with the mummy. This is a special medium shield that we have to identify. We're resting. Dead. That's the shield of Agans plus two. The Agans were a family of well-respected Lathander worshippers that earned their fortune protecting those weaker than themselves. Though the Agan line has ended, its influence is still felt in the form of this shield, which is imbued with some of the power of the Morning Lord himself. Plus three armor class. And the level of turn undead uh, is plus two uh, for priests of Lathan and undead hunters, or plus one for others. So that's definitely for you. And that's a better shield, of course. Uh, the level of turn undead is plus two, okay. There's a medium shield plus one that will be staying in your inventory for a while. I mean, we could give it to her, but she can't use uh, shields. She has specialized in single weapon. Um, what does happen if we do this? Ah, he's resting now. Great. Thanks for your riches. So, I'll have to check everywhere for that damn thing. I suppose the rest of the staff needs to be underground. Where else would it be? Uh, let's check over here. If you I've know, overlooked it in the beginning. Annoying. No, shut up. Thanks. Maybe I overlooked it over here. As I didn't take it for what it was. Hey, I'm on. I have also your moss. Oh, yes, I'm still here. I shan't be much longer now. Okay. Okay. Uh, what was that one again? I think I cleared that, yeah? Yeah, okay. So, uh, I'll see you in a second when I find out where that damn thing is. What? What was that? There was something up there. Red takes piercing damage from fire beetle. There was a fire beetle over there. Oh, so this. And then it will get a problem. Now they're all going for Joe, but some are going for Safana. Can do it with arrows, so it, the thing is the arrows. Yep. Yeah. Go with thing already again. Okay, and we killed all the beaters. Interesting. If that beta didn't, the uh, beta's thing over there didn't turn up, wow, uh, I would have never seen that. Okay, so. Gold. And the wooden staff. There it is. And we get a morning star to identify. That's just a morning star plus one. Give it to Kili. You can't wear that, of course not. You can. 
Okay, this thing, this weathered wooden staff has seen much use. The top of the staff is broken as if a headpiece has been snapped off. I didn't read the headpiece, I think. The twisting skeletons of an enormous worm coils against the far wall of this cavern. Let's see, can I cross that? Wait a second, let's rest before that. Go over there. Several, as you approach, several methods jump out of the lava and attack. Go for them. Ow! I can't see anything. I need to read this close and then all the interface gets in the way. I assume we're fighting behind the interface. Let's put it that way. Ten circles. That's not bad as, as a reward. Okay. That makes it far easier to go over here. Oh, that was such good luck that the fire beater came into range here. I was sure you saw my things on the ground and was just I just had just clicked here. Wow. That was nice of them. I wouldn't have found that. That was definitely blocked by rubble and had the unpassable terrain uh, sign on it. So we'll have to look out for things like this in the in the add-on because now they now they do stuff like that. Rest circle set with this crystal looks make this, uh, made to fit on a looks made to fit on the top of staff. You place the shattered staff fragments upon the desecrated remains within the sarcophagus and the hidden compartment opens. Several gems spill out glittering in the stone container's funeral mark. Those are not worth much like per thing, but those were a lot of gems. Okay, we're done. I can rest once more. Thank you, mortal. I returned the stolen staff. You must gather your party to you venture must gather your party before venturing forth. Yeah. Something you like must that. Gather your party before venturing forth. This uh, location was very interesting. Uh, as a first location of of uh, add-on was nice with the chasm through it and then the lava down there yeah i like that first location it was a good start uh let's rest before we continue in case we get attacked Paulus is over here i have nothing to say to you i've been captured and all things are at an end for me pester me no more Emoen? I guess this is it. We've done what we came to do. Time to head back to the palace for a well-earned rest, don't you think? Duke Janeth sent you here seeking magical papers or books, did she not? I found these in Corliss's room. This is exactly the sort of thing I was looking for. Thanks. I'll tell Duke Janeth you found these when we get back to the palace. So can we go now? Yes, let's return to the Ducal Palace. Thank you, gods, it's done! It's over. It's finally over. Saravok's allies are all dead, or awaiting the noose. What will you do now? <laughs> that option two is great. Sleep for a week, then another week, then a month. After that, I'll probably have a nap. Seek new ways to expand my power? No. Whatever the city and the Sword Coast require of me. I'm glad you're all right. I worry about you. <laughs> I also worry about me. <laughs> I worry about you too. If I were to lose you, I don't know what to, I would do. Let's never find out, all right? Okay. 
That was the intro mission. Corlage is defeated, and the last of Saravok's influence died with her. Your foster father, Gorion, has been avenged. With the exception of your friend Imowin, those who helped you thwart your half-brother schemes drift away from you, returning to their lives. For the first time since you left Candlekeep, you have the opportunity to reflect on the astonishing turns your life has taken. Though you are fettered by the rulers of Baldur's Gate, a sense of unease plagues you. You can't help but hear the rumors, the whispers that you share the same dark blood as Saravok. Some hint you killed your half-brother, not for the good of the city, but so you can usurp his place and his power. For the moment, however, your persecutors' voices are drowned out by an ever-growing number of others with more immediate concerns. Every day, more refugees driven from their homes by the servants of Kalar Argent arrive at the city gates. Many have stories of the Shining Lady's grace. All have tales of her followers' wrath. A ten day after Corlage's defeat, you retire to your chamber in the Ducal Palace, your thoughts troubled. You wonder what effect Kalar's crusade will have on Baldur's Gate. Little knowing how close at hand the answer is. Hey, ya, uh, you awake? It's me, Emmelin. What is it? Is everything all right? I don't know. That's the problem. Maybe I'm just jumpy because of what's been going on in the city. There's so many people here running from that crusade in the north. I thought I heard noises outside my room. I was worried something was happening. What kind of noises? Footsteps, maybe muttering. It was probably just a servant. <laughs> Hells, now I feel silly. Wait, there it is again. Did you hear that? I'm gonna go check it out. I should look for the treasurer of Phyllis. What? What was that? But this? In the Ducal Palace's placement. My missed fortune. Wait. Okay. I have my stuff on me, but I'm also taking the stuff that. Whoa! Those are everybody's stuff. I think that's what I had in my inventory. Let's go through that again. There's another gem pocket. But this is the one that I had, I think. Problem is that I have now undone the ordering of those. The order that that was in, but okay. Uh, this is my gem pocket, yeah? Yeah. Treasury note. The wealth you accumulated since this part in Candy Keep has been stored in the palace basement by the treasurer of Phyllis. Presenting this receipt, meticulously inscribed on delicate parchment, will allow you to withdraw your gold. A personal note has been written at the bottom of the receipt. Dear Joe, as I have not heard otherwise, I'm guessing the chest I had delivered to your quarters to store your friend's equipment is getting the job done. Please do let me know if it isn't and I'll have the other another sent to you immediately. Regards. I copy that note and put it away. Oh. I'm the worst protagonist character to be on a journey on his own. Something's happening. There are people here. Help me. No. Keep back. She died. I'm warning you. Come any closer and I'll... I'll... Cut her down. The hero is here! Take them! Are you here? The palace is under attack and... 
Oh, hells. Another guy put it down quick. Next assassin. Okay. You all right? I live, but my friend Imoen requires aid. A healer should be here soon. Forgive me. I'm Shale Corwin, Captain, Flaming Fist. Enemy forces penetrated the palace. I tried to reach you before they did, but... Well. You did what you could, and I thank you for it. Is everyone else safe? I wish I knew. Duke Eltan has people trying to assemble the Council of Four in the main hall. You may want to join them once your friend's been taken care of. Imoen, are you here, girl? She is here, Grand Duke Janath, but she needs help. Let me see her. Fenster and the other healers are dealing with the wounded downstairs. I've some knowledge of the healing arts and a few potions. Perhaps I can be of assistance. Whatever you can do to help Imun, please just let me know how I can help. The assassin's blades are coated with a mystic poison, but I believe I can save her. What can I do to help? The best thing you can do right now is accompany Captain Corwin downstairs and ensure the palace is secure. Of course, milady. I'll give you a moment to recover yourself and await you on the second floor. Will I be able to go back here? I might need to have a look at this chest to see what we clearly want to take with us. Like one of those, one of those. Okay, uh... Full stacks of magical arrows, for example. And a full stack of darts, I would take that too, but I have no room for it. Let's see what else can I can I leave? Like the plate of dark, which ah it's good to have some magical equipment with me. And that's a good one. Mm, I don't need that Durlex goblet that does panic. Oh, I have an anti panic app. Uh, okay, I'm gonna leave eyes. They're not on the ground. I'm gonna put it in here. I don't need normal darts. I can just buy them at any moment. Well, this is... Okay. We'll have to go that way later. History of M. We read that already. And the history of Waterdeep. We could also go down this... Down here, this way over here. There's a Protector of the Dryads, the Shadow's Blade, the other arrows. Oh my god, there's more stuff over here. Are those their equipped items? Those are partly her equip their equipped items. Okay, so I assume that we'll have the ability to go back to this. Because this is all their stuff. Oh my god. If I don't get the ability to go back here, I'll be in such a trouble. Okay, let's make a rear save here. With chests. Just to be sure, uh, let's talk to Janeth for a bit. There's nothing you can do to help me here, Joe. Go downstairs and speak with Duke Elton. He may have learned something of our attackers. Imun lies still on the floor. Her chest rises and falls. She lives. That is all you can be sure of. For now, it will, be, it will have to be enough. Inside this folded piece of parchment is a passingly accurate rendering of the face of Joe, hero of Baldur's Gate.
Okay. And all my friends' items are on those chests. So every time I get a friend, I'll have to uh, move back here. Uh, she wanted to give me time for resting, so... Okay, we do that and go down. Two arms. There are more assassins about. I think this is easy now. Oh yeah, that's, this is where we uh, had the coronation of Saravok, where... Uh, where uh, we attacked Saravok for the first time. Okay. Corbin is moving that way. Is that all of them? I believe the so. The council will want to know you're all right. We should get downstairs. Let's go. Okay, the council's downstairs. And that's that way. Okay. But we can explore here. I don't have lockpicking though. History of the North. Let's we won't go, go into that room. I have no chance of defeating those. Not on my own. Well, I have. And more bottles of wine. Can I speak to one of We're you? We're more than mercenaries. Assassins in a high hole. How could this have happened? Yeah, the question is, if I see someone of them move down here, no. They won't do that anymore. Okay. Let's try this. Let's try this. And I killed everyone, but everything, single one but one. Wait, go a few meters here and drink a potion. Don't use that. Use that. You can't miscast a, a, a wand. And I killed all of them. Now all the doors open again. So what do we have here? I take those arrows. 40 plus 1 arrows, why not? I'm moving here. And I won't let the dukes wait for me. Okay. I'll have to rest upstairs. Ah, because that's my sleeping room. That's like the room we had access to when we first came to the Ducal Palace, but this goes down. Let us begin. You know your host, Duke Belt, and Grand Dukes L10 and Entar Silvershield, I believe. Grand Duke Silvershield, weren't you, forgive me if this is indelicate, weren't you, kid? It took all of Fenster's skills to restore me to life, but we are not here to discuss my health. What do you know of the so-called Shining Lady, Kalar Argent? Not as much as the command of the Flaming Fist, I'd wager. I examined the body of one of the assassins. A sun cresting the horizon was branded upon his forearm. The symbol of Kayla Argent and her cursed crusade. The crusade is in Baldur's Gate? I thought they were only active north of the Winding Water. They were. Something has changed. The Crusade has disrupted trade all along the Sword Coast. Hundreds, thousands have been driven from their homes, their fields and storehouses ransacked. 
Some weeks ago, we dispatched a hundred flaming fists to join with soldiers of Waterdeep and Daggerford and march on Kalar's stronghold, Dragonspear Castle. Uh, it won't be enough. The Crusades' ranks have swelled. After the Iron Crisis, the fists are already stretched perilously thin. Even so, we're sending every sword we can muster north. We would have you join them. The hero of Border's Gate is once again called upon to defend the city. I stand ready to answer that call. Excellent. I knew our faith in you was not misplaced. There is one other thing you should know. I took this parchment from one of the assassin's bodies. It's a passable likeness of you. I'm sure you'll agree. I found one just like it, so I was the assassin's target. You need not go alone. The fist shall back you, and more as well, if you wish. I know the whereabouts of your old allies, some of them anyway. The captain here can escort you to them. Captain Corwin, I can't think of no better companion. Spoken like someone who barely knows me, but I'll take what compliments I can get and do what I can not to change your mind. When you're ready to leave, go to the palace's main doors. I'll await you there. You're doing Baldur's Gate a great service. We'll not forget it. Hey, over here. This guy. Soon I must join an expedition. I've secured the pellet, but the crusade remains a threat, yeah. Sky wants to talk to me. There's also a person named Jospel. Oh, so these are new companions that I can take. Uh, let's talk to Sky. You remember me. Surely you do. Sky Silver Shield. Um. Yeah, the problem is, uh, I didn't save you because I didn't find the place where to save you last time. I got only got Kagane's quest. Of course, Sky, but why are you here? As I recall, you were kidnapped when, we, uh, when last we spoke. I was just a child then. Now, I'm a woman. No, that's not a I've person. I've even joined... Well, never mind. I'll tell you that later. When I'm sure we're alone. I heard you talking to Daddy and the other Dukes about Kalar. Are you going to Dragonspear? Why not? The Sword Coast is lovely this time of the year. Daddy hasn't told you everything. Did he mention he thinks Kalar might be one of Ball's children? Yeah, <laughs> I thought not. We can't talk here. I'll tell you more later. All I can do is wait for Sky to approach me in private. So no Jospel wants to talk to me. Sky's grand plan. Sky's grand plan that down there. All I can do is wait for Sky to approach me in private. Yeah, that's everything. You are welcome here. It's a bad business, a terrible business, all of it. What is? I'm too depressed to talk right now. Give me a moment, please. I need to compose myself. I should try to sh cheer Jospel up. Good day to you. It's a good day, though. Is it a good day, though? Reports are coming in by the hour now. The words are disaster. Homes put to the torch. Refugees filling the water's gate with God knows how many more on the way. Where do these reports come from? From the north, Kayla's crusade has already taken Dragonspear Castle. Bridgefort will fall soon if it hasn't already. Dragonspear Castle? The adventurer Darius Dragons be about to build a castle on the edge of Highmoor, be midway between Borders Gate and Waterdeep. He dies ages ago. It's a, it's been a ruin for years, with only monsters and bandits going near it until the Crusade took it as their base. You spoke of a place called Bridgefort. Aye, and it's a settlement next to Bor Borskaya Bridge. During the time of trouble, Sirik and Baal battled each other there. The water west of Bridgefort has been foul, it poisonous to drink ever since. Something else. The dukes call upon the best and strongest the land has to offer. We will thwart the crusade. Perhaps you're right, maybe we can change things. Is there anything else I can tell you? 
who is responsible for the chaos running rampant in the north? Say Kayla Agent and Matt Crusade, of course, but do they call her all right, the Shining Lady? What do you think she hopes to achieve with this crusade? No one seems to know the ultimate goal, but whatever it is must require a lot of people. Kayla's got an army marching across the Sword Coast and it's growing. She claims her followers enjoy divine protection from all who challenge them. Lunacy, I call it. Tell me more of her. She's an Argent, a family known for its service to Lathander the Morning Lord. Most of her ancestors were paladins in the Order of the Aster. Some say she's, there's divine blood in their veins. She's co uh, convinced her followers they can face any challenge and emerge triumphant. I have another question. All I hear every day is more talk about the crusade. Someone's got to put those dogs down, either water deep or border skate. It makes me sick what they have done. Changing the minds of those with a cause isn't easy, but I attempt to save as many souls as I can. Someone must turn them for their own good. They march on their own, uh, to their own doom. Why are there so many refugees? The Crusaders are go doing a lot of damage to settlements up north. What sort of damage? As they march south, the Crusaders demand food, weapon and other supplies from settlements they encounter. What isn't volunteered, the Crusade takes by force. What settlements are the Crusaders targeting? Farms, villages, even small towns. Those who resist are driven out, but the Crusade recruits as many as they displace. More, even. Veterans who cleared out uh, Dragon's Picasso ten years past, when devils poured out of it across the land, are eager to find a new cause. And those whose fortunes were lost to, due to the iron crisis uh, are desperate for any hope. The crusade grows every day. I have another question. I have brothers in the north who are missing thanks to the crusade. I can't stop thinking about it, wondering what's happening or happened to them. Dwelling on it keeps you from taking action here. Honor them by not giving in to despair. That actually makes me feel better. Perhaps I will see my brothers again. I must be going. Farewell. You've turned my spirits right around. Thanks for showing me the brighter side of things. Here, take my staff and shield. May they help you on your way. And to get a buckler plus one and a quarter staff plus one. Also, I have a staff spear plus two, so the quarter staff. Oh, I have can cast friends one times a day and I have plus 10 lore for equipping it. That's nice. Nah, it only it only counts if counts if I really equip it. I'm not taking that. I'm not taking a plus one thing now. That's health if I need it. More potions if I need them. Let's see which potions. Strength and infravision. I need to go to the cellar though. That's the history of water deep. I think we read that. The gleam of this golden harp shows the care put into its maintenance. From the strong sand you assume it has been polished more times than it has been played. There's enter. Ah uh, yes, what does the hero of Baldur's get in need of me? Nothing at all, Duke Enter. If that changes, I'll let you know. For now, our paths must part. May Time Mora favor you in your travels. Please don't go away. I want to. Can uh, I speak yes. to you again? What does it... For okay. now, our paths okay. must part. May Time Mora favor you in your travels. I just looked at my recording time. So we have to talk to Enter, Corvin, Duke Elton, Lilia Janath. And have to go to the cellar to get our money back. From who was it saying? Ophelis. Oh, yeah, I have no money. There's an enforcer, there's another enforcer, and another enforcer. Call us. Did you hear that, huh? Well, this is breaking out. Stand down. Never. I'll not be imprisoned again. Stand down or we'll put you down. You! You are the one who delivered me to this hell. <clears throat> I 
Your own crimes brought you to this college. You conspired with Saravok against the city. You must be punished for that. As you will be punished for Saravok's murder. I was surprised when I was taken to the palace and not to the jail. Now I know it was so the dukes could torment me in private. Did you think I'd be treated fairly? Justly? I expected no mercy, but even I didn't expect this... this horror. What is this? You claim you've been mistreated? Tortured? You're nothing more than I expected. Pathetic. Now let us finish this. Saravok's servant. I must defeat her once again. Without a party. Great. And... Did she not take damage? Why did she not take damage? She didn't take damage. Oh, I know why she didn't take damage. I'm killing her mirror images. Spell ineffective. Okay, spells are ineffective and I'm panic. Okay, I can't defeat Corliss. I can't defeat her. Not uh, on myself. I alone can't defeat her. I have no, sh no chance because she is completely immune to magic. Okay, so I'm not getting my money back. So, next episode we speak to Lilia Janath, Duke Elton, Orwin, And enter Silver Shield, and after that we're getting our party back, and then we'll uh, con uh, we will return here to get my party, my s their stuff back, and then uh, go down there, so we can kill her. I think now she is uh, not defeatable, so I go for my uh, for me to go for my party uh, to emphasize that. I think the main quest will continue down there. So we'll see us tomorrow and uh, in Siege of Dragonspear where we go through all what I've just said. Have a nice day. See you then. Mm -hmm.